J-E-L-L-O. The Jell-O program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Kenny Baker, and yours truly, Don Wilson. The orchestra opens a program with Man About Town from the picture of the same name. <laughs> You know, in this world, you just can't stand still. You either slip backward or march forward. Well, in the past 40 years, Jell-O has been constantly marching forward. And for that reason, Jell-O is proud to join the great parade of progress, which is being held all over this country by the Associated Grocery Manufacturers of America. The idea is to show what amazing progress has been made by food manufacturers over a period of years. And we can honestly say that Jell-O stands out as a real leader in progress. The years have brought constant new improvements. Jell-O began as one flavor. Now it brings you six. And every flavor is extra rich now with a new delicious goodness. Jell-O costs less nowadays. It's quicker and easier to make, and it brings you a new fruit-rich fragrance. So Jell-O is delighted to be a part of the great parade of progress. And we send our greetings to all the grocers of America. And when you're watching the parade, look for the Jell-O banner. You'll see those big red letters there that spell Jell-O. Town played by the orchestra. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce that this occasion is a gala event on our Jell-O program. <coughs> Today marks the seventh radio anniversary of our illustrious and beloved Master of Ceremony. Is it that long? Tempest Fugit. <laughs> exactly seven years ago today, a young man walked into a small New York broadcasting studio and spoke into a microphone for the first time. I was as nervous as a goldfish in a fraternity house. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> There he stood, ladies and gentlemen, wearing a brown suit, cloth top shoes, a straw hat, and a cane. I finished with a dance in those days, folks. <laughs> so now, without further ado, we bring you that same young man in that same brown suit, Jack Benny. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, hello again. This is Old Faithful, still spouting after all these years. <laughs> And thanks, Don. It was awfully nice of you to remember my anniversary. But how did you ever happen to think of it? Well, I'll tell you, Jack. Last Wednesday, I received an anonymous letter stating all the details. Oh. And Thursday, I got a telegram saying, what are you going to do about it? Uh-huh. So when you called up Friday and asked me how I liked my job, I just put two and two together. <laughs> I see. Well, believe me, it was just a coincidence. Anyway, that was a swell introduction, Don, but you're wrong about one thing. This is not the same suit I wore at my first broadcast. Oh, it isn't? No, this is a brand new one. And if you don't believe it, you can call up my tailors, the Campus Cut Tog Shop. <laughs> Open all night. <laughs> <laughs> They'll tell you. Then I must apologize, Jack. Really, I thought you were wearing the same suit you wore seven years ago for sentimental reasons. What was that, then? I said I thought you were wearing the same suit for sentimental reasons. No, Don, my father's carrying the torch now. <laughs> <laughs> we're the same size, you know. But, Don, when you mentioned my first broadcast seven years ago, it sure brought back memories. I'll never forget how nervous I was that night. I was shaking like a leaf. Well, you must be nervous tonight, too, Jack. You're still shaking. No, and that's what worries me. Now I shake, but I'm not nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I can't be that old. <laughs> anyway, Don, this has been a great day for me. I got telegrams and flowers, and I got the grandest present from our sponsor. He sent me a lovely box of saltwater taffy. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Oh, it certainly was. Have you eaten any yet? No, Don, I misplaced my heavy-duty tea. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I find them, because corn on the cob will be along any day now. <laughs> 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 I must write and thank him, though. Oh, hello, Mary. Hello, Jack. Congratulations on your anniversary. Well, thanks. But gosh, Mary, how'd you happen to know about it? I've been trying to keep it a secret. Oh, stop. I saw that big ad of yours in the Hollywood Citizen News. Oh, that. Well, I was just advertising for a gardener. I need one. What does the ad say, Mary? I got it right here. Get this, Don. Hmm. Wanted. Japanese gardener. 
Preferably an ex-acrobat from vaudeville where Jack Benny spent many happy years before he went into radio and is now celebrating his seventh successful season on the air. Must have references. <laughs> well, I wanted a gardener with experience. <laughs> Look what you got at the bottom of the ad. Well. Address all replies. Jack Benny, Paramount Studio, where he is now starring in Man About Town. And bring your own lawnmower. <laughs> Look, Mary, gardeners are very hard to get, so it doesn't hurt to build yourself up a little. Anyway, I don't think you should ridicule me on my anniversary. Oh, I didn't mean anything, Jack. No. As a matter of fact, I brought you a present. Well, that's different. What is it? Here you are. A pair of woolen socks, and I knitted them all by myself. Oh, well, let's see them. Well, that was sweet of you, Mary. Say, these socks are swell, but look, what's the idea of the zipper on the side? Uh, that's so you can put your money in without rolling them down. <laughs> Mary, I told you a thousand times I don't keep money in my sock. That lump is where the end of my underwear meets my ankle. <laughs> Mighty green country down there. Well, it's wonderful for grazing if you want to go haywire. <laughs> anyway, thanks for my gift. Only sometimes I wish that you'd... Come in. Telegram for Jack Benny. Telegram? Take it, Mary. Here's a tip for you, son. Oh, Judy, a nitchel. So long. <laughs> he must have been eating some of my taffy. What does the telegram say, Mary? It's uh, from your sister Florence. Oh, uh, from Florence. Mm -hmm. huh? She says, congratulations on reaching your seventh anniversary. And I hope that, signed Florence. <laughs> That's her, all right. Ten words is her limit. <laughs> Funny, she's always been like that. Oh, hello, Kenny. Hiya, Jackson. Are you right on the beam tonight? Are you jiving, kid? <laughs> what? Are you whipping it up, Elmer? <laughs> I see. Kenny, I wish you'd stop hanging around our swing-happy maestro, Phil Harris. He's a bad influence. Oh, I don't know. Well, I do. You used to be a beautiful baby, and now you're a corny Joe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Smell this flower in my buttonhole and I'll squirt your eye out. <laughs> Kenny, stop that immediately. And take off that badge. You're not a chicken inspector. <laughs> hmm, chicken inspector yet. Well, Phil's got one that says, Step up, sugar, here's your honey. <laughs> Wow, I'll bet that really gets the girls. You know, Mary, I think it's a crime what Phil is doing to Kenny. He's making a regular smart aleck out of him. You said it. Kenny was standing in front of the drugstore this afternoon, and when I walked by, he went... I did not. I went... <laughs> oh, you did. That's fine, Kenny, whistling at girls. Well, you do it. Listen, Kenny, I haven't whistled at a girl since the pool room burned down in Waukegan. <laughs> now, you behave yourself, young man. Say, uh, Kenny, aren't you going to congratulate Jack? This is a big day for him, you know. Oh, Don, let's forget it. He wouldn't appreciate it anyway. Nobody does in this gang. Now, wait a minute, Jack. I can't speak for the others, but I've been loyal to you always, and you know it. Yes, you have, Don. That, I must admit. Jack, remember the day when you and I first met five years ago? I certainly do, Don. I certainly do. Why, it seems like yesterday. I'll never forget it. Remember when we did our first broadcast for Jell-O? Gee. You were standing out in the hall just before the program, and I came up to you and said, uh, Can I speak to you a minute, Mr. Benny? I used to be quite formal then. Yeah. And I said, What is it, Slim? You were quite thin, too. <laughs> Remember? I sure do. I remember your very words, Don. You said, gee, I'm nervous, Mr. Benny. I don't think I can go on today. And you said to me, don't be nervous, son. Just step up to the microphone and say, Jell-O has six delicious flavors. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. Yep. You know, Jack, I've never forgotten that message. Who has? Quiet. And remember, Don, when I told you to say, always insist on genuine Jell-O. Look for the big red letters on the box. 
Pardon me, Jack, but I originated that expression. Oh, no, Don. No, I remember distinctly that I thought of it. Well, I hate to argue with you, but I'm positive it was my idea. Now, Don, let's be fair about this. I created that expression, and if you weren't such a ham, you'd admit it. What are you talking about? You're the ham. Oh, I am, eh? Stop that music. <laughs> hmm. That's gratitude. But, Jack! Enough, Don. That's the last time I'll wander down memory lane with you. Oh, who gives a darn? So there. Look at him. He gets mad at the least little thing. Oh, it's your own fault, Jack. You're always taking credit for everything. What do you mean? Why, you even told me you were the one that suggested the San Francisco World's Fair. I did not. I merely said that I had three cousins who were fan dancers, and it would be nice if they had a place to work this summer. <laughs> That's all I said. Now, go ahead and sing, Kenny, before this reaches serious proportions. Okay, Junior. <laughs> hmm. Hold it a minute. Come in. Mr. Benny? Yes? Remember the first time I knocked at your door three years ago? Yes. You thought I was nuts, didn't you? I certainly did. Well, I'm cured now. <laughs> I can't understand that. He came in on foot. Sing, Kenny. <laughs> oh, love, I feel it everywhere Through the night time It is the message of treasures I have only one one thing that time nor tide can pay without it I would be a lonely one but now my heart is on a prayer oh, I feel it everywhere night time it is the message of the breeze our love is like an evening prayer I can hear it in every whisper of the breeze Our love sung by Kenny Baker. And Kenny, you were exceptionally good tonight. That song was very well rendered. Yeah, I thought it was right in the old groove -roo. <laughs> Isn't that awful? groove -roo. Kenny, what does that mean? What does it mean? You don't get around much, do you, brother? <laughs> now, Kenny, for the last time, I want you to cut out that lingo and stay away from Phil Harris. I'm going to have to do something about that. Say, Jack, uh -huh. while Kenny was singing, another wire came for you. It's from Fred Allen. Oh, Fred Allen, eh? What does it say? It says, uh, Dear Jackass. <laughs> Give me that wire. Hmm. That's Dear Jack, as this is your seventh anniversary. <laughs> hmm. You gotta make a jackass. 
As this is your seventh anniversary, I feel that you deserve a tribute. So I raise my hand and salute you, Fred Allen. Well, there's a novelty, Allen saluting me. I bet he's doing it in a novel way, too. <laughs> Never mind, I prefer to take it the sweet way. Well, here comes our musical madcap, Phil Harris. You're tardy as usual, I see. I'm sorry I'm late, Jack, but I live way out in Encino and it takes me quite a while to get here. Oh, well, this happens to be your job, Phil, so why do you live in Encino? I like it. It's hilly there. I thought so. Well, take off that coonskin cap. You're in the city now. <laughs> now, don't let this happen again. Okay. Hiya, Kenny. Have you been swinging out gate? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I tell you, pal, we've been cutting a rug or two, but these alligators here don't know nothing about jamming. <laughs> oh, we don't, eh? Never mind, Kenny, we'll go out later. I got a couple of jitter dolls lined up, and we'll take them out for a twirl. Okay, but I gotta be home by nine o'clock. <laughs> Phil, aren't you ashamed of what you're doing to Kenny? No, why? After all, he's just a kid. If you got a couple of jitter dolls lined up, I'll jam with you. <laughs> I'm hep. <laughs> I may not be an alligator pal, but I can jive a bit. What do you say? All right, Jack, what time do you have to be home? I can stay out as late as I want to, Smarty. My father's in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> and now, folks, as my cast is finally assembled, and they are all more or less actors, for our play this evening, we are going to present... Play nothing? Didn't you tell them, kids? Well, no, Phil. I thought you wanted to surprise Jack. Surprise me with what? Well, Jack, this being your anniversary, I'm throwing a little party for you and the gang. A party? Yes, and it's all on me. Well, gee, this is a surprise. Awfully sweet of you, Phil, but where are we going? No drive-in stands now. No, sir. Huh? No, sir, I'm taking you to Slepperman's Hawaiian Nightclub. I got a table reserved and the cab waiting downstairs. Say, that's well, but what about the program? Oh, my boys can play a few numbers. Let's go. Okay, gee, I can hardly wait to see Slepperman's place. Come on, fella. Oh, I knew it was going to be Let's go. Oh, Jack's a jolly good fellow. Oh, Jack's a jolly good fellow. Oh, Jack's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. Come on, gang, let's go. Phil, I can't get over you throwing this party for me. Ah, forget it, pal. Anybody that's been in radio as long as you have deserves it. I do at that. Huh? Hey, Mary, what are you doing on the floor of the cab? I thought you were sitting on Don's lap. I was, but I slid off. Slid off? Whee! It's fun, too. <laughs> Kenny, stop that. That's what I say. Yeah. Oh, hey, are we here already? <laughs> yep, this is the place. Come on, fellas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, driver. Driver, how much the cab fare? That'll be a dollar ninety cents. Okay, I got it. Wait a minute, Phil. Let me pay for the cab. Let me pay it. I got the change right here. Uh, no, fellas, let me pay it. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Here you are, driver. You got hooked, didn't you, sporty? <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, here we are. Hey, Jack, look at that sign. The Hawaiian Swing Club. Hakalua Schlepperman, proprietor. Oh, yes. Look who's standing in the doorway. Hello, stranger. Schlepperman. <laughs> wow. Welcome to Hula Land. High class food for low class people. Well, oh, hello. Hello. Hey, Schlepp, what's the idea? What's the idea of the high hat, tuxedo, and bare feet? I'm a beachcomber that reads Esquire. Oh. <laughs> well, right here this way, everybody. Come on in, everybody. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. Hey. a gorgeous place, isn't it, Jack? It sure is. Real tropical atmosphere. Palm trees and coconuts hanging on them. Say, Schlepp, where do we check our hats? Better keep them on. The coconuts are loose. Oh, I see. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> there goes one now. Yeah, say, we better be careful. Hey, Schlepp, where's your wife? She's in the kitchen. And, Jack, when I tell her you're here, she'll go crazy. Oh, Lotus Blossom! <laughs> but Who do you think is here? Jack Benny. All right, so hooray. <laughs> Boy, is she thrilled. Well, sit down, everybody. Would you like a little refreshments before eating? Sure, I'll have some Hawaiian punch. I'd like some, too. Me, too. I'll have dry martini. Kenny, you'll have a glass of milk. Okay, put an olive in it. <laughs> Never mind. Well, Gringles, make yourself at home. I'll be back in a jiffy. Excuse me. See you later, Schlepp. Okay. Wow, this sure is a hot spot. Yee-hoo! Kenny, wait till you get your milk. <laughs> You know, Phil Schlepp's doing a great business here, isn't he? Oh, it's packed all the time. Yes. Come on, come on, let's have a little action around here. Where's the hula dancers? Bring on the girls! Hey, that guy seems to be a little bit under the weather. I'll say, I hope he doesn't come over here. He's waving at you, Jack. Just ignore him, he'll go away. You know, Mary, I think... Hiya, Jack, old boy, old pal. How's the kid? Ooh, my back. <laughs> I don't even know the guy. Am I glad I bumped into you? Say, who's got a match? Here you are, buddy. Hey, now listen, you stay out of this, tubby. I'm talking to my old pal, Jack. Gee, I don't even know the guy. Here you are, mister. Here's a match. Oh, trying to get tough, huh? No, you asked for a match, and I gave it to you. A match? And now, don't worry, Jack. I'll get you a match if I have to turn this place inside out. Who's got a match for my old pal, Jack? Now, who's got a match? Gee, I never saw the guy before in my life. Well, gentlemen, here's your appetizers. And in just a minute, we're going to have a floor show. Say, Schlepp, uh, there's a fellow been annoying us here. You better throw him out. Where is he? That big guy over there. I'm sorry, my wife is the bouncer. <laughs> well, something ought to be done about that guy. Uh, pardon me, Jackie, I'm going to start the show. All right, boys, step on it. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, your attention, please. Before starting our entertainment, I would like to announce that we have a big celebrity here tonight. None other than Jack Benny from the radio. I never heard of him. Never heard of him. There's your pal, Jack. Quiet. Come on, everybody. Let's give Jack Benny a real Hawaiian reception. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> well, thank you, folks. Sit down, you big ham. Sit down. Hey, what is this, anyway? Ouch, darn those coconuts. <laughs> Go ahead, Schlepp. Ladies and gentlemen, first on tonight's program, we have a little surprise for you. In honor of Jack Benny's seventh anniversary, <laughs> Miss Mary Livingston and yours truly are going to sing a special Hawaiian song for their case, assisted by the Boyle Heights Beach Boys. <laughs> now, Mary, did you frame this? Well, you hear it. Come on, come on, Mary. <laughs> Go ahead, don't be bashful. All right, boys, Aloha Taluki, one, two. I want to go back to my little grass sack in Kaliakawaka High. I want to be with all the Connies and Wahinis that I knew long ago. At a Gilberry! I can hear old guitars are playing on the beach at Ocean Park. 
I can hear those Hawaiians saying. Can I just sacky nicky wacky wicky wacky while I go hui? Won't be long till my ship will be sailing back to Kona. Kona! A grand old place that's always fair to see on Mammy's knee. I'm just oh. a little Hawaiian and a homesick island boy. I, I want to go, go back to, to my fishing boy. I want to go, go back to my little grass shack in Kealakamu, Hawaii. Where the home of a You said it. Well, well, no kidding, Slapperman, that was swell. That was beautiful, Mary. Hey, folks, how would you like to hear Jack Benny play a violin solo? Oh, no, Phil, nothing come on, to Come on, on Jack. Come on, Jack. Oh, no, I don't want to. Ah, come on, Jack, old pal. Love in blue. All right, fellas, if you insist. Have you got a violin here, Slap? No, Jackie, I haven't got one. Oh, well, it's lucky I brought my own. I thought I might be called on. No? All right, boys, give me an introduction on love and blue. That's what we want, humorous. No, oh, I wish they'd be quiet. All right, hit it, boys. Oh, for heaven's sake. You know, that's the most beautiful thing I ever heard. <laughs> you're breaking my heart. That's what you're doing. You're breaking my heart. Isn't that awful? That's the sweetest song was ever written. I was in love once. Well, you're in bloom now, so keep still. I was in love with the sweetest little girl in the world. Agnes, come back to me. I've had enough of this. Slapperman, if you don't throw this fellow out, I will. Go ahead. The customer's always right. Here, Mary, hold my coat. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute now, Jack. Calm down. This is all a rib. A rib? Yes, I hired that guy to heckle you. <laughs> you sure <laughs> fell for it, didn't you? Oh, I get it. Well, you sure fooled me, buddy. Hey, come over and join us. Have a drink. Okay, Mr. Benny, I'll have a cherry phosphate. <laughs> Say, you certainly had me going there for a minute. Come on, let's all sit down and have a good time. <laughs> Ow! Kenny, get down out of that tree. <laughs> What an anniversary. Hey, Slap, how about the few? Come on, come on right up. Oh, Lord, this blossom. Lord, this blossom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I have a confession to make. There was a time when I was a meat and potato man. No salads for me, no, sir. <laughs> Well, I've changed because I found out that Jell-O salads really are different. They have a zest, a tang that's cool and refreshing. And here's one for you to try that I know you'll all like, husbands included. Jell-O spring salad. You can make it with lime or lemon jello, whichever you prefer. Both flavors are especially swell for salads. Dissolve one package of jello in one pint of hot water, then add one tablespoon of vinegar and a chill until slightly thickened. Add one cup of chopped nut meats and one cup of diced celery and mold until firm. Serve on crisp lettuce with real mayonnaise and boy, boy, you've got something. Cool, refreshing jello, golden lemon or sea green lime, molded with crunchy celery and nut meats. So try it soon. Ask your grocer tomorrow for lime or lemon jello, or better yet, get both. the last number of the 31st program in the new Jell-O series, and we will be with you again next Sunday night at the same time. Oh, Jack, here's another telegram just came from you, for you. Hmm? It's from Lloyd's of London. Lloyd's of London? What does it say? It says, congratulations on reaching your seventh year in radio, although you cost us plenty. Well, I've been fooling them for years. Good night, folks. J-E-L-L-O! Can I make a 
appears on the Jell-O program for courtesy of Mervyn Leroy Productions. This is the National Broadcasting Company.